Tyner here, you know, in the sport of boxing, anything you do in life, money's always a big thing, you know. Money is a motivation for a lot of people. In boxing, how much has money, like, been a motivation to you? Is that why you do this, or do you do it for other reasons? Well, I really do it, but uh, this is a fight. I love this shit. It's like, it's like basketball, base football, pickup games, yeah. pickup fights. So I, I love to, get, to be a guy from Detroit. I love the town, I love ass hood street, and be one of the best motherfuckers in the world. Just think about that. I'm one of the best motherfuckers in the world coming from Detroit. I got the best fighter knowing my name, respect. So. I just did some shit, yo. I came from Detroit, that's a tough motherfucker. And I'm the toughest motherfucker there? Come on. What makes you so tough, though? How do you know you're tough? Because I fight these motherfuckers on three-day notice when they got 30 and 0 with 28 knockouts. And they don't knock me out or down. And I be beating they ass. What, what is the, the hardest thing of being a fighter? The hardest thing you had to go through? When I fought that, that motherfucker, I tried to make 140 for on a, a day of week notice. That that guy from Canada, uh, Dougie Boy or some shit. Oh yeah. They fought Mont Peterson. Yeah, okay. Man, I tried to make that shit though, because it was for a little title. So I forced my weight far down. I got to 142, I couldn't do it. I was getting in a sign of that shit, no water was coming out. I was stupid. And that was the only fight where the night round came, I looked at the ground like, damn! And, and I was like, shit! But I did it, but I wasn't how I did it, because I stood up. I stood up the rest of the fight, and I, my legs and everything came back. So when I almost knocked that motherfucker out in the 12th. <laughs> now, what, you know, in boxing, a lot of fighters have gotten used, like if, if people on the outside see a fighter on the rise, they might try to get out of manage it, get some money from them, so and so. Have you noticed a lot of people like that who try to take advantage of you? Yeah, that's why, I'm, that's why I don't have nobody now. That's why I ain't have no manager or no promoter now. Just because of that. You got to earn your way in for me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You pay, you pay in to get in this company, my man. Unless you can give me the big fight, I'll do a deal with you. What keeps you busy though? Why do you still love doing this? Because it's, it's a sport, it's fun. How long can you do it? At least five more years if I want to. Yeah. Whenever I get bored. What do you think you might do after boxing? What, what's going to be out there to keep you busy? I'm, right now, I'm training. I'm managing some fighters. I'm a big promoter. So I'm gonna help kids out and I'm gonna give me some champions. Guys who fight like this. All trades. I mean, I learned boxing now. Motherfuckers try to fuck me so much. I learned how to help motherfuckers out. I can help my fighters gonna love me.